and then explains the rules of nine ball pool. The object of the game is for you to win more games than your opponent. Nine ball pool, not to be confused with eight ball pool, is a game that's usually played between two people. And to win a game, you must legally hit the nine ball into any pocket. To get to the nine ball, you must use a wooden cue to hit the white ball, known as a cue ball, into a numbered ball, and for that ball to go into any of the pockets on the table. This is known as potting or sinking the ball. The table is roughly 9 feet by 5 feet, and the object balls are numbered 1 to 9. The game starts with a break. This is where the first player hits the one ball to start the game. For a break to be legal, at least 4 balls have to hit the rails of the table, and the cue ball must not go into any pocket. If you haven't already guessed, you have to try and sink the balls in numerical order to get to the 9 ball, and then you must sink the 9 ball legally to win the game. If at any point you fail to pot the relevant ball, it is the end of your turn, and your opponent will be given the chance to aim for the lowest numbered ball so that they can sink the 9 ball themselves. So rather cruelly, if your opponent sinks the balls 1 through 8, and you come to the table and sink the 9 ball, you win. In snooker, if you pot a different coloured ball to the one required, it's classed as a foul. In nine ball pool, it's perfectly legal to hit the correct numbered ball and then for a different ball to go in. Take for example this shot. Darren Appleton is required to hit the four ball. He hits the four ball first and then the nine ball goes into the pocket. Because he hit the correct numbered ball first, any other ball that goes into a pocket is a legal shot. This example also shows that you can win the game early by sinking the nine ball after hitting a correctly numbered ball first. Pretty cool, huh? Wait a minute, so what can't you do in nine ball pool? Well, you cannot touch any of the balls with anything except your cue. You cannot sink the cue ball accidentally or otherwise. You cannot hit an incorrectly numbered ball out of turn. You cannot fail to hit the object ball. You cannot hit any of the balls off the table. You cannot hit the cue ball twice in one stroke. And in ranking events, you must complete your shot within 30 seconds. These infractions results in a scratch, or a foul, and your opponent will be awarded the cue ball in his hand. He can then place the cue ball anywhere on the table and continue with his shot. Competitive matches are usually played to the best of 9, 11 or 17 games, and the player who wins 5, 6 or 9 games faster than their opponent wins. That's basically the rules of 9 ball pool in a nutshell but there's a few other things you'll need to understand before playing or watching a game. For example, lag. To start any match, a lag is used to determine who breaks first. Both players will hit a cue ball down the table to bounce off the end rail. The person who can get the cue ball closer to the front rail wins the first break. Push out. After the first break, regardless of whether or not a ball goes into a pocket or not, the player can opt to take a push out. This is where the player can play almost any shot and no foul will be called against him. This is to eliminate an unlucky lie after a break. Extension As earlier stated, you have only 30 seconds to play your shot. If you start running out of time, you are allowed to take another 30 seconds so long as you inform the referee. This is known as an extension and you're only allowed one extension per game. Golden Break during a break, if you hit the 1 ball and the 9 ball goes into one of the pockets without fouling, you win the game automatically in one shot. 9 ball pool is quickly becoming the more popular variety of pool worldwide, and once you've played or watched a few games, the rules will become clear. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is very much appreciated. Be sure to follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, Enjoy Nine Ball Pool.